Another example of in mold assembly is shown with its case history. This is um, a pair of glasses, safety glasses, made by uh, UVEX. Uh, they are called uh, uh, Pull Safe, and uh, they were made using the in mold assembly approach. So uh, let me show you uh, a picture of the glasses. This is a computer rendering. And uh, next, I would like to share with you how they actually were made. So we use, um, uh, this is the earpiece, and we have, it's made in uh, three components. All the components are molded in the same tool uh, consecutively. The first one, uh, which is in molded, is the PBT resin, which uh, has the highest temperature of molding, the melt temperature, and has the lower shrinkage. Uh, then the tool opens, rotates, but you don't eject anything from the tool. The tool closes again, uh, so the cavity is changing, allowing to inject the second component through gate two, as shown, uh, which is a POM or an acetal. And then uh, the, the tool opens again, rotates again, and uh, the last uh, component is molded in the same tool in a different cavity, which is called uh, uh, the TPE material. And this uh, TPE material has the highest shrinkage and the lowest uh, molding temperature. Also, the nose piece, which is shown in this picture, also is molded via in mold assembly. So uh, to be able to see this, uh, I have uh, the glasses right here in my hand. Uh, so this um, uh, flex uh, turning is uh, taking place in the tool. It's made in the tool. Uh, the adjustment of the earpiece, this is the TPE part sliding over the acetal part. And then we also have the nose piece, which is shown in here, which you see how it's moving, and this is achieved also in the tool.